Now, two questions. Number one, even if it, uh, you know, the demand is implemented now, how can the government implement it now without actually identifying on, you know, the seats which need to be reserved for women without a census? How is it even, you know, or, uh, or the delimitation exercise? You see, that is, the, <clears throat> that is the question. COVID has been over for quite a few uh, months now, but the census has not started. That is why it appears to be a jumla just to entice the woman voter, which is not appreciated. You see, uh, the states which are going into election, why don't they project a lady as a would-be chief minister and go into the election? That would prove their intent or why they already don't have a woman chief minister. All the other uh, you know, heinous crimes taking place against the women in the country, particularly in Jantan Mantar, you must have covered when the, our uh, medalist, uh, the gold medalists, uh, the wrestlers were sitting there in Dhana in protest of their molestation by a Bharatiya Janta Party uh, leader, an MP. He's still sitting in the house. Why wasn't he punished? The intent... See, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. If the intent is to do good for the women, then that man, uh, I don't want to name him, uh, you know, he should have been uh, suspended. He should have, he should have okay. been suspended. So if we don't see an intent of this bill seeing the fruit of the day. By 2029, or maybe even later than that, it is just trying to beat the drums and gather the women's vote. All right. right, trying to beat the drums, gather the women vote. I have last five minutes. Instead of politics, maybe we can also come together because at least I would reckon both of you will come to, uh, you know, um, together on the fact that this is a headlight moment for India. The, the fact, fact that, that both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha have been able to come together and pass a bill. It is historic in the sheer strength that it's been able to do so. Uh, Aparajita Sarangi, you know, last five minutes, ma'am, I'll give you two minutes to actually count back in history and maybe give due to all the women who fought the good fight, the likes of Sushma Swaraj from your own party, Geeta Mukherjee from the left, Krishna Bosa, even a Mamta Banerjee or a Sonia Gandhi. I started my talk with you by saying that it has been a collective responsibility and I just gave the number 454 is to 2. So I think the Prime Minister today in the morning also thanked everybody cutting across party lines, all the MPs, whether male or female, whether this party or that party, for having uh, 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 passed the bill in the Lok Sabha yesterday and today also we think it will be passed in the Rajya Sabha. So I think uh, we are thankful to everybody but at the same time I must say that to every action of Prime Minister Modi there has to be an equal and opposite negative reaction from these people. They are naysayers unfortunately and cynicism is the disease they suffer from. This is a great moment for the women of the country and I think all of us instead of finding faults with the Prime Minister Modi's government should celebrate this moment should come out openly and should for once trust Prime Minister Modi's government when it says that by 2029 these two exercises would have been completed and I must say these are very complicated procedures. See, carrying out census is not a small job. Number two, carrying out the delimitation exercise by the delimitation commission is also a very complicated process. So I think uh, we do not want a PIL in the okay. Supreme Court tomorrow and that was what told by the Honorable uh, Union Law Minister yesterday. Okay. So we want absolutely error-free exercise and that is why it will take okay. time. But we are confident that by 2029, it would be okay. grounded.